This is the final haul, and then we're gonna leave. Are you ready, Joe? Are you ready to go on an adventure? Go. <laughs> you come close. <laughs> Are you excited? <laughs> gotcha. All right, hold on. Yeah. All right. The time has come. Say bye to mom's house. You ready, Joey? All right, let's go. Are you ready, baby Joey? Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Chantel, this is my basic journey, and today is the day that we're driving away from this place. I'm moving back into my minivan. You guys may have been watching and see me packing it up and getting it ready to go, and today is that day. I am very excited. I am a little nervous, and uh, Joey's ready and excited too, aren't you, Joe? I've already picked out where we're gonna go tonight. It's about four hours away. It's on the Mississippi River on the Illinois side. All I need to do is stop and get ice and water, and then we are good to go. So let's go get ice and water and head to our first spot on our first night back in the minivan. Let's go. at 10, then turn left onto Illinois 96 South. You guys, we're only like 10 minutes away from our destination. This four hours flew by, and I think it's because, you know, the first day driving, like, all of my emotions are Turn so left onto Illinois 96 South, Great River Road, signs for Hull, Kinderhook. I just saw a sign for the place that we're going. 
It's a park and fish area. Continue on 170th Street for three miles. Right on the river. I'm very excited. We're coming to a train now. One thousand feet, you will arrive at your destination. You've arrived. Are you ready to get out of here, Joe? <laughs> All right, let's go. have somewhat of a fire pit there. Those little pit toilets were surprisingly clean and full of toilet paper. So 10 stars just for that. Even though I have a bathroom in my van now. Yeah. It feels so good to be back out here. Oh my goodness. It feels so good. It's so nice out. It's a perfect like 65 degrees. Oh, it's beautiful. So the first thing I need to do is clean up this mess of a van. And then uh, probably set up camp. I have up to 14 days to be here, so I'm not going to be here that long, <laughs> but a few days for sure. I'm going to chill. I'm going to get everything organized. It's kind of my plan. So let's clean up and set up camp. Alright you guys, I have moved my spot a couple times um, just for the sun to get out of it. <laughs> and now we're working on cleaning up. Hi my baby Joe. Yep, and Joey just ate lunch like a good boy. He's such a good boy. Yes you are. I have my new window covers in. They're not as pretty as my old ones, but they fit much better. Nice and snug in there. Now comes the fun part of putting everything away and making it nice and organized in here. 
But in reality, I'm like super stoked to be here and just be doing this again and being on the road again. I'm a little nervous about my minivan having the same issues that it did before I brought it into the mechanic. Um, they did find an evap leak in a hose that they fixed, if you guys saw that. Um, but it didn't actually fix the issues that I was having. Uh, so in a couple weeks, I'm going to be heading to my dad's house who lives in Kansas City, Missouri. That is the direction that I'm heading now. And he has a friend who's a mechanic who said he would come over and take a look at it from top to bottom and see what needs to be done um, without charging me labor fees because that is where it costs the most for them to have it so long and to really dive deep into finding out what is causing the issues. Um, and because my light, my check engine light, the like actual light doesn't work anymore. So I don't know if my check engine light came back on. We'll find out in a couple weeks when I go to my dad's. <laughs> But, you know, we're just going to pretend that it drives perfectly and everything is great and gravy and we're just going to keep on going. So let's get this place organized because I feel like very claustrophobic in here right now because I have bags everywhere. So put it all away. Use your steps, Joe. <laughs> he still hasn't figured those out. You have steps at mom's house. You know how to use your steps. You know how to use your steps. You can do it. You can do it, Joe. Use Yes, there you go. Use your steps. Use your steps. <laughs> I just spent the last two hours on the phone, which is not normal for me. But now the sun is setting because it's been so long and I've just been slowly getting everything put away, kind of making our way there right now. Got a last couple things here and then that little bit of stuff there. But then we are done getting everything organized. You know, I kind of like the way that the foily look has. I am going to paint those eventually, but... They look good and they're sticking in nice. Hey Joey, are you happy to be back in the van? Are you so happy? There you go for a walk, Joe. Wanna go see the river finally? The Mississippi River is over this little hill. And I want to see it before the night is over. <laughs> Time really has flown today, probably because I drove four hours, but we're here now, Joe, and everything's put away and organized, and I forget how quickly a minivan fills up with stuff. Oh, it's so exciting, though. I'm so happy to be back out here.
You ready to try our new lights for the first time, Joe? We restrung lights all around here. Let me try it out. And I changed them. Hey, look at how white they are. That's so exciting. So the reason why I got a new strand is because the other ones were very blue on the white setting, and then the other ones I had were very yellow. So I really like the white light. Those are nice. It's still pretty light out, so don't really need them, but I really wanted to try them out. This place is really pretty. It's very rural. And there's nobody here. I had a couple people like just drive in and walk over to that little river walk that I showed you and then leave. But that's it. Huh, Joe? Wow, guys, look at how shiny these are. My new kettle and my new stove. Did get a gas one stove again. For dinner tonight, we're having ramen. <laughs> I'm also going to have some carrots and vegan ranch. And then also this Tiesta tea, nutty almond cream. It's a relaxer, herbal tea, with my cool tea contraption. <laughs> Joe. Wow, you guys, what a day. First day back in the van, part two. <laughs> it has been quite an eventful day. It feels like it was very busy. I feel very tired. <laughs> in fact, it's only like 730 and I am pooped. I am so ready to go to bed. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, I'm getting old. That's what that is, I think. But it has been quite the adventure. I am so happy to be back in my van. I had a few emotional moments today where I started crying <laughs> and uh, was too embarrassed to record that and show you guys. But, you know, tears of joy were there and, you know, tears of sadness a little bit for leaving my mom and her cat. I just, you know, I'm going to miss them, my grandma, but it has been such a crazy ride. This whole, this last six months has just been absolutely bananas. Anyways, I am just so happy to be here. I am happy to be back on the road, even if it's in my minivan. I love my minivan. It does feel like home to me. And the minute that I came in here, after I had like everything kind of in it, I was like, yes, this feels like home. This feels good. This feels right. And so I'm just happy. I'm happy to be back on the road and sharing it with you guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me, especially through these last six months. If you guys have been here through that, it's been just a, such a whirlwind. Am I right? It's just been so crazy. And I'm just, I'm just happy that that chapter is done. And here we are starting a new one again. And I'm just very excited and very happy. So thank you so much for watching this. My first day back in my minivan. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, definitely subscribe below. I'll also put a link for my Patreon in the description box in case you're interested in checking that out and helping support my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!